People are so complicated that most of us don't even understand his own feelings have the time. Yet, here we are, a billion stuck in this rock having to interact with each other. Everyone with different goals, values, beliefs, and we all have to try to get along. And also, some people have knives to emotional reaction to murder. Well, that's not the point. When I say relationship, I mean any interaction with people like friends, family, colleagues. Red flags are term everyone is familiar with. That person that cheats on everyone, red flag. That person that uses people for his personal benefits, red flag. That person that doesn't clean his hands after bathroom, red flag. Like, ugh, ugh. But what about red flags that start revealing themselves once you have built a trust with someone and have connection with? When your opinion on someone is positive, those red flags can start be looked over or start saying, oh, but they are a good person, I trust them. I mean, they wouldn't hurt me on purpose. It's easy to rationalize warning signs of a bad relationship when you have positive view of someone, but it doesn't mean that they are not there or should be ignored. You are still being a jerk, but it's just complicated. By the history together, I think the majority of people tend to be so nice or passive or over-understanding. It's really common and easy to do. That's why toxic relationships are way more prevalent than you would realize and it can be difficult to know what to look for, there's a chance that you are in a hurtful relationship right now and you don't even realize it. The term manipulation gets thrown around a lot and because of that I think a lot of the people are able to identify manipulation if it happened to them. But it is not easy. For example, Nico says, You will be the puppet and I will be the puppet here. Chunks and Nico are friends that knew each other since a long time. Chunks wanted to go to Five Guys, but Nico started saying, What do you even know about restaurants, huh? Then Nico started talking hilariously bad about Five Guys, while he had never tasted it before, and forcing Chunks to go with him to another restaurant for no reason, just to control him, and on top of all of that, a free package of bullying all the time. And if Chunks complained about anything, Nico just replies with, Then why are we friends? Nah, uh, that's a super common manipulative situation. If friendship is something like that, thanks, I don't want friendship anymore. Some people stay in this relationship fearing the emotional pain from separation or loneliness. Although, believe me, loneliness will refine your personality and improve you in many ways. But the problem is the way manipulation works that builds slowly over time. And it's mostly emotional or sympathetic. At first. Then it becomes compulsive. Nico starts isolating chunks from his friends by backbiting or nitpicking things that he doesn't like about their individual selves. At the time, they are alone. Nico says, I don't like how Kenny fights a lot of people. That's kinda weird. Don't you think Chuck is dancing in public so much? That's not responsible for me. This makes Chunks hates his friends one by one and starts trusting Nico more. A few months passes by and Chunks is not hanging out with his friends anymore. And Nico have successfully isolated him from his friends. And that means that he have much more control over his thoughts and emotions. Maybe you think that it is easy to see through this manipulation situation, but rare people are qualified enough to catch warning flags in early stage in relationships, so pay attention to yourself of these relationships. And if you are in one of them, try to explain to the manipulator, which is your friend, if you really love him, what are the things that bothers you, and if he says as Nico said, then why are we friends? Tell him, good riddance, nerd.